So I've posted a few times and made mention of this idea of, of Battletech, the duality of Battletech being a role-playing game, literally a role-playing game, but also an immersive war game and hooking in the possibility of, of both of those. And it could be something that's very complex where you have the complete role-playing experience and then you get in your mechs and you go tabletop and you have that experience and switching back and forth. And I, I think that's amazing to explore, but with the Battletech universe being as rich as the narrative is, how can we pull in? How can we pull in that role-playing feel and at the same time not have all the bookkeeping? Or, or what if we don't have a GM, a game master? And uh, this is kind of one of the things that I've done from time to time. I think it builds excitement. It builds a little bit of an opportunity, and, and it helps to bond you literally to the models. It helps to have a narrative behind your models. Um, some of my mechs I've had for a long time. I've played a lot of battles with. When I pull them out of the case, or I'm sitting there thinking about a lance, and I'm pulling out miniatures and, and figuring out battle value, I can see past glories. Um, I can see certain scenarios flashing in my mind. Um, that's, that's kind of interesting. It's kind of like a weird sense of time travel with how it works you can play battletech in a campaign and by a campaign on the wargaming side which means here's the mission there's an attacker defender the chaos campaign depending on win or lose it goes into a different bracket it goes into a different tree um, you have a number of mechs to start with and you can cycle out your lances you can salvage you can repair um, that's exciting to play but even with a one-off even just and most of the Battletech games that I play, probably like 80%, are let's just agree to a battle value, throw down some maps, and blow some stuff up. Even with that, you can bring in the narrative, the role-playing experience, that campaign. And here's how I've done it. You have your mech. You have your mech warrior. The pilot skill, the gunnery skill, the statistics, that's, that's locked, that's at the base level for what you play. Maybe it's standard, maybe it's veteran, maybe it's rookie to affect the battle value, but, but you go in, that's the pilot, you name your pilot, and that pilot is attached to that mech until that mech gets blown up and, or destroyed or the pilot killed. Then they join the dispossessed and you start out new. At the end of the battle, so, so you play with your friend, um, at the end of the battle, if the pilot has not been killed, because the mechs automatically get repaired, we're not in a campaign. If the mech warrior has not been killed, then you nominate at the end of the game. It's a blind nomination. Your friend doesn't know, your opponent. You nominate one of their mechs for MVP, and they nominate one of your mechs for MVP. Um, and the MVP is just who it's like Maximus. Are you not entertained? What mech warrior did something crazy, pulled off death from above, or stood there with its arms blown off, its leg blown off, and it's, it's still fighting to the very end, just shooting torso lasers? What mech got up there, grabbed the goods, and barely escaped, barely made it off the table? Just MVP. They get a micro experience point, and when they get depending on how often you play, between 5 and 10 of these micro experience points, they can up one of their abilities by 1. Not changing the battle value, because that just creates the calculation um, a little bit too much. Does it give them a slight advantage? Yeah, it does. Over time, maybe you want to target that mech and take it out. Maybe you want to explore it. but it's it's And there is a little bit of imbalance, because it's not going to be perfect because over the course of 10 or 15 games you might have or maybe 20 games you might have one or two mech warriors that have a plus one to pilot skill plus one to gunnery um, but this idea to record micro xp add it to your mech warrior and and it pulls in it really does pull in the narrative to the game and and it adds history it adds literal history the wall of honor to your mech warriors to your models and to the fun of exploring Battletech and pulling in that slight RPG narrative.